Scott, one of the most visibly different pieces of this machine is the 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 uh, our new VPAT blade system. So. Um, it's a lot of things that we did with this VPAT to strengthen it up, uh, to kind of make it a bit more efficient and a bit more capable. And uh, one of the other things we did was is we lightened a lot of the, the, we took a lot of the weight off the front end of this dozer and kind of moved it back. So um, the redesign of the C-frame, splitting that C-frame into two C-frames, the lower and the upper, allows us to kind of get a bit more of a horizontal load path in there and it allowed us to make this material more efficient up here. So this is not only a stronger C-frame, but it's also a bit lighter. Tied in with that is the new main tractor frame that's a bit narrower, and so that allows us to have what we call a step frame here. So it's a little bit narrower in the front end, the frame is the traditional width in the back, but that allows us to have these lift cylinders laid down horizontally. So they're no longer vertical on that hard nose there, but we've laid them down put a little bit more of the weight towards the, the center of the tractor here, taking a little bit of the weight off the front end there. And so that allows us to do that. Um, we actually did get more penetration and breakout force with these cylinders, um, with the redesign of them, even though we laid them down here and pulled them down. So that was a big difference there too. So at the same time, um, the, uh, the blade was redesigned as well too. Nice backbone of strength right in the middle of that blade. <coughs> it's a thicker blade, it's got uh, larger cells, so it gives us a bit more strength in terms of cells. Um, and again, stronger on the top and the bottom as well. And then you can see our dog bone there too. We went with a, uh, a stiff link dog bone. It does have four positions for changing your pitch, and each of these are lined up in this cam type system. So I take these two cover plates off, and I can rotate that pin around, and that's gonna pitch that cam a little bit further forward. So I've got four positions I can put that in because I've got two bolt cams, uh, two pins that I can turn either forward or backwards and change the pitch of that blade. So, new blade system up in here. Let's talk a little bit about the push arm and how that's uh, a little bit different as well too. So you can see with the push arm, we kept the traditional hard nose and the traditional lift cylinders here as well too, with the frog eyes up top here give us some great penetration with this tractor, all right? And some really, really good strength in terms of bolstering this blade when you do start to hit the big rocks with it. With the next gen D6, we also strengthened up the push arms. We've beefed them up, all right? The L-shaped push arms. We beefed up the blades as well too, all right? They're larger capacity. They're a little bit taller as well. And we also, uh, on, in particular on the LGPS blade, we went ahead and we slid in the tilt cylinder to give a little bit better protection for that tilt cylinder. So on our LGP straight blade, that tilt cylinder on both sides and the stiff link as well are both pushed in a little bit to give us a little bit better coverage from that blade on that tilt cylinder. Hoses encased in our uh, spiral wind in there to help keep the rocks that come over the top of this blade from damaging the hoses. And the same goes for the slope assist or cat grade 3D sensor wire line as well there too. Looks like a hydraulic hose, but uh, nice, good, heavy, durable hose there.